Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 7 feature tutorials deconstruction brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. So, in this session, we are going to learn about the deconstruction. So, deconstruction is a process of splitting a variable value into parts and storing them into new variables. This could be useful when a variable stores multiple values such as tuple. Okay, this is what about deconstruction is. So, in the last session, we learned about something called tuple. Okay, tuple is going to return multiple values. So, at that point of time, when your tuple is going to return multiple values, what we can do is we can apply this deconstruction technique. So, deconstru deconstruction technique is a process of splitting a variable value into parts and storing them into new variables. So, now let me jump into Visual Studio and let me show you a demo of it. First, let me create a, let me create a tuple. So it's very simple. So I'll specify public static and it's going to take three parameters string, its name, string, its title, and int, its year. And now I'm going to give a name get tuple. This is the name of method. So, another thing it's going to take it as id here. And now, what I need to do is okay, I need to tell like uh, let me initialize the values to them name is equal to string dot empty. This is the thing. What I, again, I need to do it for the other variable that is title. and I need to do it for the year 2 so int year equals as of now it's 0 ok now what I will specify is if id this parameter this parameter you can observe very clearly id is equal to equal to 1000 then then I am going to assign the values to them name is Arish ok then title is equal to C sharp year is equal to 2017 so then I need to return them so let me give of return keyword so what are the things I need to return the name then title then its year this is what this tuple is going to return these three things so now since it's a static method what I need I'll call, I can call that directly like get tuple so first I need to specify so what it's going to take string so let me copy and paste just to save the time this is how I'm going to call it here but I need to add equal operator here I'm going to specify so I'm going to assign the values only when my ID is equal to 1000 so I need to pass a value to that ID parameter so I'm going to pass it as 1000 fine so then then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just print the values. So I'm going to tell like author author okay author uh, wrote is first. first book so what is the book name I'm going to pass it in the placeholder in the year it's two again so I need to just pass the values in the parameters in the order one is name title then year so now when I run this application what is the output I'm going to get I'm going to get the output as author Arish wrote first book C sharp in the year 2017 okay this is how we are going to get the output now now how can I apply my deconstruction technique here it's very simple so first thing what we need to do is instead of giving separate taking like this let me assign a var to each of them okay and year 2 this is how you can apply the deconstruction technique so control fi so you can observe here it works still fine and again you can still reduce this piece of code by just removing here we are repeating again every time where 
we replay again and again so let me remove this so I can tell like I can call it here itself where so this also works fine so this is how this is how the deconstruction technique works so what we are trying to do is we are trying to remove we are, we are having a value completely in it and we are splitting the values among each uh, parameters here that is name title and year this is what the deconstruction technique is and this is how it works so deconstruction is the process of splitting a variable value into parts and storing them into new variables so this could be helpful when we store multiple values such as set tuple so that's what we took an example of a tuple and we stored uh, the multiple values into each individual values with the help of this var keyword so this is what about the deconstruction is so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Langpro Training. you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day